The Greatest Showman is a 2017 American musical biographical drama film directed by Michael Gracie in his directorial debut, written by Jenny Bix and Bill Condon and starring Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron, Michelle Williams, Rebecca Ferguson, and Zendaya. Featuring nine original songs from Benj Pasek and Justin Paul, the film is inspired by the story of P.T. Barnum's creation of the Barnum & Bailey Circus and the lives of its star attractions. Principal photography began in New York City in November 2016. The film premiered on December 8, 2017, aboard the RMS Queen Mary II. It was released in the United States on December 20, 2017, by 20th Century Fox, seven months after Ringling Bros and Barnum and & Bailey Circus ceased to exist, and grossed over $434 million worldwide, making it the fifth highest grossing live action musical of all time. The Greatest Showman received mixed reviews from critics, with praise for the performances, music, and production value, but criticism for its artistic license, with some reviewers calling it faux inspiring and shallow. At the 75th Golden Globe Awards, the film received nominations for Best Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy and Best Actor, Musical or Comedy for Jackman. For the song, This Is Me, the film won the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song and was nominated for Best Original Song at the 90th Academy Awards and won the Best Compilation Soundtrack for Visual Media at the 61st Annual Grammy Awards. In the mid-19th century, P.T. Barnum and his troupe perform a show at the circus. As a child, Barnum and his tailor father Philo work for the Hallett family. He loves their daughter Charity who is being sent to finishing school. The two keep in touch through letters, eventually marrying and raising two daughters, Caroline and Helen, in New York City. They live a humble life, though Charity is happy, Barnum craves more. Barnum loses his job as a clerk at a shipping company after the company goes bankrupt, and returns home for Caroline's birthday. He takes out a loan from a bank, deceiving them into accepting his former employer's lost ships as collateral. He uses this loan to set up Barnum's American Museum in downtown Manhattan, an attraction showcasing various wax models. Initially, sales are slow. On the suggestion of his children to showcase something alive, Barnum searches for freaks to serve as performers for his museum. He gathers a large group of them including Letty Lutz. This attracts a large audience despite protests and poor reviews from James Gordon Bennett, prompting Barnum to rename his venture, Barnum's Circus. Searching for ways to further his reputation, Barnum meets playwright Philip Carlyle and convinces him to join his venture. Carlyle is mesmerized by the African-American trapeze artist Anne Wheeler, but he hides his feelings. During a trip, Carlyle arranges for Barnum and his troupe to meet Queen Victoria. Afterwards, Barnum convinces famed Swedish singer Jenny Lind to perform in America with him as her manager. Lynn's first American performance is a rousing success, during the song, Carlisle and Wheeler are spotted by Carlisle's parents as they are holding hands. As Barnum gains favor with the aristocratic patrons, he begins to distance himself from his troupe as he advises them to work on that night's show. Dejected, they decide to stand against their local harassers. Carlisle and Wheeler attend the theater but they run into Carlisle's parents, who chastise Carlisle for parading around with the help. Wheeler runs off, and Carlyle angrily berates them, then chases Wheeler and tries to convince her that they can be together, but she rejects him. As Barnum takes Lind on a U.S. tour, Charity feels isolated from her husband as she stays home with their daughters. While on tour, Lind begins falling in love with Barnum. When he refuses her advances, she threatens to quit and orchestrates a kiss with him at the end of her last show, which is photographed by the press. Barnum returns home to find his circus on fire, caused by a fight between the protesters and the troupe. Carlisle runs into the burning building, believing that Wheeler is still inside, and suffers serious injuries before being rescued by Barnum. Barnum gets word from a sympathetic Bennett that the culprits have been caught and that Lind has cancelled her tour after her and Barnum's scandal. Barnum's mansion is foreclosed upon and Charity takes their daughters to her parents.